Starting from the Icon of the Seas for one last time. It is checkout morning. It is 8 o'clock. We are ready to go and we're gonna go. Surfside Eatery is supposed to be open until 8.30 and that has been like the best place to go get breakfast because it doesn't have that many people there. So we're gonna try and do that because usually the Windjammer departure morning is chaotic. So we're gonna try Surfside Eatery. Has less options, but it has enough options for us and hopefully, fingers crossed, it's a good one. So yeah, uh, Surfside Eatery is um, pretty much empty. So this is the place to have breakfast the last morning. And it's got all the selections that you had all week. So it's great. And it's empty. Yeah, perfect. So I told him you can have whatever dessert he wanted and he wants the rainbow sprinkled croissants, his favorite. So yes, Surfside, definitely the place to go. Super nice, very relaxing not chaotic like the windjammer. So how was your last icon of the seas bacon? Good, and your sausage, and your last royal berry blast. <laughs> and I got my breakfast. How's that sausage? And your last royal berry blast? Good. So one of the things I got for this trip that I absolutely love, especially for cruises, is this thing called, the. I guess it's the cape? I don't know how to pronounce it but it has, it's like you wear it around your, like across your body, like a cross body. But then it has, an, you buy it for the phone and it attaches to your phone, but then it also has this little wallet. So I was able to put my CPAS card on it. This can come off. So this thing connects to the phone. So you can actually detach it from your phone too. So I'll put a link in the description box below, but this thing was awesome. I think it's just, cause I'm always losing my phone and we're always trying to like pull it out, take a picture. And then I'm always using my CPAS card. So I got my CPAS card and my phone and I don't lose it. Hi. Yep. And how many times? I did, it worked good, because I always lose everything. She always loses your CPAS card, and this trip she did not lose her CPAS card one time. Yeah, so this thing is fantastic. Like, I, I think it's probably good for daily life too, but for a cruise, it's a must. And he only went down this the first day, so we're gonna go down it one more time. Good job. Woo! So great thing about this area, there's a bathroom right there. We're just chilling. Um, there, we're just, we're not in a hurry. We're going to Jungle Island now. Jungle Island is having an Easter egg hunt and we missed our town's Easter egg hunt is this morning. And that's like Ryder's favorite thing to do. So we're gonna go to the one at Jungle Island. Um, we already got tickets, but he's not really happy. He wants to go home and sleep. But we're gonna go to Jungle Island, which is a really great thing if you need, if you have kids and you want a place to go. There's the Frost Museum, but Jungle Island, um, we haven't been there in a couple years since Ryder was little, definitely before the pandemic. But we're gonna go there for a little bit and um, it's probably for like an hour or two, but it's a really great place if you need some time to chill or some time to kill when you, you know, after you or just, you know, disembark on a ship and you have maybe a day to kill or time before you your flight um, and you have kids, Jungle Island is probably a great place to go. And I'll do a quick a tour of the arcade since we never, I never, we played in here but we didn't film. So, a lot of games. Uh, we spent, we did prepay 50 bucks and then we probably spent another 20 or 30. Um, if so, this place was always very, very busy. Uh, Ryder loved this. Uh, it's like $2. Uh, we, we got a lot of ducks and it's pretty easy. Um, so but it's like $2. Ski ball. So but this place was really packed. It, it being on Surfside just made it very, very popular. So it's nine o'clock. Um, we were able to play a couple games. The games are still working. Um, I don't know, charge it to my CPAS card, but our account is closed out, so I don't know. But uh, we were, and there were other kids that were playing, so you can, you know, try and play. Um, but yeah, it's nine o'clock. It's time to get off the ship. A little sad, but it's been a great day, and like this, this down here is fantastic. So the good thing is, is that Royal Promenade is way out, so we can just walk down. We don't have to take the elevators. Another bonus. And see, <laughs> they're already got the balloons up for tonight, and you can see the chaos that the promenade is that we avoided. That was probably in the windjammer. So we left a duck there last night. Someone found it. But yeah, this is the gangway. It's pretty crazy. We lost our husband. We lost Ray. I know, we never sat there. We never went to bar 1400. So many things we didn't do on this ship. So, but 
That's it. We're officially off of vacation. Vacation's over, buddy. We're no longer on a boat. So it's 9.21 and we are already off the ship. We are already through the terminal, super fast. We did get a porter who's helping us. And this is, if you want to know what a terminal looks like, well, the morning after, I am. this is what it looks like. So there's a lot of shuttles. But it's pretty. And there's already people here for the next cruise. Man, they're waiting in line. <laughs> so, 9.25 and we are in our car. Ryder, did you have a great cruise? Yes. Awesome. And now we're off to Jungle Island. Much to raise. Chagrin. Yes. <laughs> so we're here at uh, Jungle Island and we haven't been here in a long time. So, um, yeah. Jungle Island, today they're having um, Easter egg hunt. And I think they normally open at 9.30, but we'll see. See, this is only for this weekend, but they have the uh, egg hunt this weekend uh, for Easter. So this place also has Tree Truck Miami. So you see Tree, tree Top Trekking Miami. So this is something else they have here is this like Tree Trekking Miami. They have like, I know they have a kids course and they have a uh, adult course. So it's like a ropes course, zip line, etc. And here are the different prices. There's a Jeff Discovery for kids that are like nine and under, or eight and under. So Guardians of the Jungle Show. And I haven't been here in a while. They no longer have the big cats. So we'll just walk around a little bit. It's beautiful. Right. Macaws. Yeah, the macaws, right? So there's this tree walk village. It's like a playground. It's $10 add-on, which isn't too bad. But then the lady told us that there is a free playground over by this way. So we're gonna go look at the free playground. And if not, we'll do that $10. We got more birds over here. Oh my God, that bird is Yep. These are beautiful. So this is, I think this might be the discovery one. This is the kid one. Aw, hi. Look at this. They're lovebirds. They're loving each other. How are they kissing? How do you and then there's this one. Hello. They have beaks. That's the truth. A different calls. So beautiful. And then here's the tree track Miami. You can see it up there. So she said it was in front of the food truck. So here's the food truck. Yep, there's the free playground. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's yeah, so if you don't want to pay the $10, this one's pretty good. That one looks better, but this one's free. Free is good. And then this food truck's got some food options. There's burgers somewhere else, uh, but this just has pizza and stuff too. And we got some lemurs over here. So I see a red lemur right there. And then there's some more up here. There they are, they're just chilling. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How are you? And then this is a common more and set. Oh, and he's so tiny. He's so cute. We have some white-handed gibbons, and this one's really active. He is getting a workout in this morning. Hi. He's a little camera shy. So here's the capybara enclosure, but I don't see them. He's probably still in there. But they do have an encounter, but the only spot they had was during the egg, uh, Easter egg hunt, so we're gonna skip it today. And we got lots of flamingos over here. Oh, there's the capybara. There he is, he's so cute. He's just chilling. Pretty sure this is where the lions were. Um, and uh, they, they don't have the big cats. They left uh, because of COVID. And I think there was a hurricane too that destroyed it. So uh, they were all evacuated and never returned. And I think this is a wallaby. I'm pretty sure this is a wallaby right here. Not sure. Yep, I know my animals. Then it's wallaby. These are some ostriches and they say they bite and I believe them. So this is the tree truck Miami. They're doing it now. They're going over the ropes course. We gotta come back and do it. Ryder, uh, it won't be big enough until to do one of them until he's nine, but he can do the discovery course. So I'm pretty sure this is part of the Tree Trek Miami discovery course. So this is the kids one 
that's good for ages five to eight. So Ryder will definitely enjoy, it's $50. And then this is part of the playground that's $10. And we have an Eastern striped skunk. So he's in there sleeping, he's chilling. We'll leave him be. And then you just have some cute little bunny rabbits. Little bunnies, probably here for Easter. Oh, and this is the old theater. It doesn't exist anymore. But I saw a lot of shows here. This one, look, this one is looking at himself in the reflection. They're fighting over a box. Fighting over the box. <laughs> fighting over the box. Oh, those are teeth. Hi. I can bite. Yeah, he bites you. So there's the tree track, Miami. That's really cool. Right here, look up, look. Look up. Oh my God, they're right about. And you can see them doing the ropes course. That looks pretty tough, though. So then this is the fun farm area. This was like $65. It's pretty much a petting zoo. So we didn't do that. Some more little monkeys here. Some tamarinds. Was quite active this morning. Well, one of them is. That was good. <laughs> and then there's this open area picnic. Another little kitty playground over here. And then you got the goats here, the piggies. A lot of animals to play with. I love the piggies. Hi. No, this is the petting zoo, buddy. Very cute. And I said this was the kitty area, but obviously it's for kids of all ages. And then we got some more monkeys. Cappuccino monkeys. Oh, they're so cute. So it's about 10.45 right now, so we're gonna get in line for the Easter egg hunt. And that's all the eggs. And they're passing out these little ears. You got pink or blue. So I got one for me and one for Ryder because we know Ray's not wearing it. Okay. Yeah. So you can see here, they have people that are leaving their bags here, like that are off a cruise ship, so. And then afterwards, everybody's taking pictures with the Easter Bunny. He must be dying. <laughs> so that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. Um, you know, it was quick. The, the Easter egg was fun, but uh, you know, glad we came. So that was great. We did the you know garden tour. One thing that you don't know is that if you go online beforehand and you book, you can actually get free garden admission. So normally it would have been $27 an adult, but. Um, because I made the reservations. They only do a few free reservations a day. So you have to book in advance. I booked it in advance. Um, if you get animal encounters, it's included. But so the only thing we paid for today was the bag that I caught because we didn't have an Easter egg basket. But then parking, parking was $15. So there's a lot of add-ons if you want to do add-ons, but if you just want to walk around and um, they were holding luggage in guest services. So if you're coming off a cruise ship and you need to hold your luggage, you can hold your luggage in guest services and $15 is just make sure you make reservations well in advance the day that you're getting off the ship. And then if you wanna do any of the tree trek or anything like that, that you need to make reservations before because everything was booked. It is a Saturday, everything was booked. Um, there was like two spots for the capa, capa, capybara and animal encounter, but it was going to be the same time as the egg hunt. So, but it was great. i um, glad we did it. I haven't been here in years. It's definitely some of it's same, some of it's changed a lot, but it was still great fun. And um, glad that Ryder got to do an Easter egg hunt because I was kind of sad that he was going to miss it this year. So, but uh, that is it for our uh, disembarkation of the icon of the seas and our you know, Jungle Island, Miami, uh, you know, killing some time after we got off the ship. So with that, if you like this video, click like, click and subscribe. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video. Bye everyone.